Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. This part's being filmed on Christmas. And, uh, yeah, this is what we all want right here. Molds and plastic, baby. AI dead on. Ah. Santa knows me well. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm your host, Chris Jones, and uh, I hope everyone had a great, great, great Christmas. Um, I sure know that we had a great time. Um, so I, I hope all of you uh, got to see family, and I hope Santa Claus was good to you guys. Uh, I know that he was good to a lot of bait makers. A lot of people got molds and plastic and all the things that we love, including me. There was some stuff under my tree. Um, but uh, regardless, um, we have a really exciting video today. This video is sort of a, it's going to be sort of in collaboration with some other soft bait making YouTubers. So when I started making baits, when I, when I kind of started doing the bait thing here on World's First Fishing, it was a lonely place to live, right? I, I didn't really have any other bait making YouTube friends, and now I do. Um, so two, two of those friends, two guys, Michael and Joe, have uh, sent me some goodies to play with, and um, some of them are um, actually new products, I guess you could say, to 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 the bait market. So uh, we're going to be looking at some really fancy shifting powders, and uh, and then um, Joe from Bait and Tackle <laughs> sent me his like big eye swim bait mold. So we're going to be checking out uh, those two things, and uh, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. But first, let's look at some recent work that we've been up to. Here is what we've been doing. Wow, and uh, the scary part is these trays were empty four days ago. So we have been busy, busy, busy. Lots of cool stuff. And uh, this one in particular is pretty cool. This is a new color I'm calling North Georgia Threadfin. A customer sent in a picture of a shad. And uh, I was able to really get a good match on it. That's, uh, oops, gold highlight and chartreuse there in that vein to sort of give it that, that effect. Uh, so that's in the G4. And then of course we have Hickory Shad in the G4. And uh, to do a little compare and contrast, here is Hickory Shad in the uh, AI 5-incher, right? So like the original AI 5-incher. So yeah, I love how both these molds wear the Hickory Shad color. All right, so <clears throat> here is what uh, Santa brought me. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look over here. So this is Joe at Bait and Tackle. Get it? Bait and Tackle. It's very clever. And, uh, yeah, so this swim bait here, uh, you know, like, so this is like a, a homemade mold. So it'll be, the mold will be made in silicone. Uh, and it's got these giant eyeballs. So uh, that's kind of what we're going to be playing with. And then I'll show you the other page. We just go here. 8-bit baits. Is, uh, is Michael from Bait Chuckin. Um, he has uh, started selling these, uh, these hollow shift powders, as they're called, and we will get into why they're called that. So that's what's here on the left. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it here. All right. Okay. And uh, thank you so much to these two, uh, to these two gentlemen um, for Hooking, hooking me up with some stuff to film for you guys. That's always, uh, always appreciated. Please, both of you, let me know what I can send you in return. I uh, have quite a few goodies myself. Okay, okay, there might be two of them in here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at how giant that was. So I think he was saying that it's a 20 millimeter eyeball. Yeah, these remind me of the old Stanks, Stanks bait molds. Okay, so very wide, lots of room to play in. Got a hook slot, yeah. And this will be particularly a challenge because I have not poured in silicone in a long time. And pouring in silicone molds is how I got my hand pouring chops. So uh, that's sort of how I learned. But uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wipe the the dust off, so to speak, because I have not poured in silicone in a minute. All right, let's get this open. I, I know that he sent me some eyeballs because I actually, the biggest size I had were 15 millimeters. And he's like, yep, nope, that's rubbish. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna be big enough. Okay, yep, some hooks. <laughs> All right, yeah, cool. Sort of an underspin vibe there. 
Yeah, very neat. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe, hopefully there's some eyeballs in here. If not, uh, we're gonna have some eyeballless uh, baits. Okay, and here we go. Who doesn't love an unboxing? So we actually already got into these a little bit the other day. Um, so let's kind of dump them out and uh, shout out to how well these guys brand uh, brand their packaging. Like, holy cow. I just thought that I had my fancy bait bags. Okay, so let's take a look. Right off the bat, okay, you can see that this is some very high-end stuff, right? Just look at the amount of shift happening here. So what these immediately reminded me of whenever I first looked at them, they look almost identical to the type, oops, sorry, let's, uh, let's zoom in. So they look, so they, they look almost exactly like you would expect a hyper shift, <clears throat> not a color shift, but, but, the, but the more like expensive high-end hyper shift to look in terms of the spectrum of shift, but they have a hologram effect to them. So if we get real close, right? It looks like a hyper shift, but wait, is that hologram flake in there? Well, it's not glitter. I'm, I'm sure it's just a, a part of the actual silica dioxide powder that, that is given the hologram effect. I don't know exactly how that works, but uh, super awesome stuff. So you have, you have some of the types of colors that, that kind of color the plastic more, and then you have some of the ones that actually don't really color the plastic. These, these almost work like uh, interference powders, like highlights. They don't necessarily color the plastic, but you do get the effect. And if you want to bring out the effect, add a drop or two of black. Yep. So anyway, I will, uh, I will link these down in the description below. They are pretty expensive because it's a little bit more expensive of a material uh, that they're made out of. So these are, I think these are $60 jars for five grams. So to... Um, just to compare and contrast, there's the ZTH on this finger, and here is the uh, sort of similar Cortana, I think it was called, hollow shift on this finger. Yep, look at that, I love it, awesome stuff. Can't wait to use them. All right, so we have all the colors heated up. Uh, you know, when you're pouring in silicone, you kind of got to do one color in, then the next color, then the next color. You can't just kind of take your time. Um, well, it's not that you can't take your time. It's just in a silicone mold as opposed to a preheated aluminum mold. The plastic sets up quicker, so you have less work time in between your colors. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and do some Sonic here. If I can get it open. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so oops. Just spilled a bunch. We're just we're gonna we're gonna really saturate things today. I'm not gonna worry about trying to make them look see through like a lot of my other stuff. We just really want to see these colors, you know, because we're showing you some stuff that that we have not used before. Yeah, yeah, I like this because it, it looks like it's sort of like using the sparkle, the sparkle violet flake, without it being so dang temperature sensitive like sparkle violet flake. Yeah. However, to make it really come out, we're going to add some black. We're going to darken the base. That'll make this come out a little bit better. Oh yeah, now you can see it. See what I mean? Yeah. And that's going to be our belly color. However, I think what Michael was telling me is if you do not add a base to it, um, the way that these powders work, and, and, it's, and, it's somewhat to, and it's somewhat similar to some of the other silica stuff that I have, from certain angles, you can't even see it. All right, so we're gonna give that a quick little reheat in the microwave. All right, and now we're moving on. Now we're gonna move on to gold member for the vein. I love using a golden vein of some kind in conjunction with a kind of dark purple color shift top all right lots of gold member okay really get that in there oh beautiful yeah yep it reminds me of the dead on 24 karat gold shift with hologram if you were to add some black to the dead shift yeah very cool 
This is a color that I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing in some plastic. Yeah. Well, now this one to me has a stronger hologram than the other ones. It's probably the same, but maybe I just see it better up next to that kind of darker purple uh, base. Or, or, or just, I don't know, it just seems to, to be a little bit easier to tell that it's hollow shift. And I'm pretty sure that's why they're called hollow shift, hologram shift. See, I'm a genius. All right, now we're going to darken this one up. I'm going to start with three drops of black. Let's see where that gets us. Yeah. Now we're talking. Let's zoom in there. Yeah. Ooh, pretty, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's just get the plastic in. I'm not exactly sure how high to pour the belly, but we're gonna find out. I always like to shoot for sort of halfway up the eyeball. Which luckily there's a little circle in the middle of the eyeball. So that should give me a pretty good indication. Let's see how that looks real quick. Yeah, I think that's about right. Alright, so something that you will absolutely need to have when pouring in silicone is a heat gun. Because by the time your plastic is set up enough at the thickest, hottest point, back here is going to be really set up. And so we want to get not only thermal bonding, but we want to get thermal blending of colors, okay? So basically, we need to take our heat gun and tack it back up. Well, you can't really... Okay. <laughs> and just tack it back up. And we want to blast that with the heat gun just long enough um, that it kind of starts to re-gel that plastic, particularly there in the back where we, where we, I, I guess where the weakest point is going to be in terms of bonding. Okay. Get it on up into the heads too. All right. We basically just want to re-gel this plastic best that we can without just completely scorching the mold yeah goal being to get thermal bonding and blending of colors very important and we're just going to kind of toggle it to both sides here you know again pouring in a hot aluminum mold the the heat from the aluminum will kind of pull the plastic <clears throat> where you want it to go here you kind of have to manipulate it a little bit differently so i'm going to pour to this side pour to this side especially if it's a slotted mold okay and again time is of the essence all right okay so you can see it's still a little bit a little bit gooey but we're just gonna we're gonna blast this again blast this side again all right, yeah. Okay. And now we are ready for the top, okay? We're actually going to start back here at that tail junction. Again, that's sort of the weakest link in terms of bonding. All right, now we're going to move on down into the body. Just go ahead and fill her up. Yeah, this is so much fun. I've not poured in silicone in ages. It's like a long lost friend. All right, these are done. I can't really, uh, yeah, I guess I could drum roll on those. Well, we'll drum roll on the table. Okay, drum roll, please. Let's go ahead and get one out. Looky, looky, looky. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Wow. Look at that. Okay, so I needed to do a better job on my vein. I didn't quite get enough vein plastic in there. But not bad. Not bad, considering we have not poured in silicone for a long time. So we will undoubtedly fire these back up and try to pour another set. See if we can improve a little bit. Yeah. That's super cool. 
Uh, oh yeah, what a thick, what a thick body bait too. Thing is massive. Okay, let's try again. And just see if we can get things a little bit better, like I said. Why doesn't this cup want to pour right? Yeah, I think that's about good there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, there it is. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, so having fun with the uh, with the hollow shifts. Looky there. All right, we're actually gonna put some eyes on these. Yeah, here we go. All right. Yeah, I think that'll look just nice. Yeah, there it is. That's looking about right. Pretty cool. Interesting bait. It's uh, it's like a fat guppy minnow, but humongous. All right, so now we're gonna do just some, uh, I guess, solid colors, right? That's pretty. It's like almost the whole rainbow. Uh, this one is Bespin, okay. All right, let's check it out. And uh, we're going to be using some some other um, uh, silicone molds. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Might as well load it up. Go big. One drop of black. Boom. If you can't tell, I like to add a little bit of black to my powders. Especially highlights and color shifts. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. Okay, let's try to get a Gobi One Kenobi poured up for you guys. And you just have to hold it still and just fill it. Just let it fill itself in. The more you try to move things around, the worse it's going to get for you. Gotta have your plastic super hot. Yeah, we didn't quite get that, get that uh, fin there. All right, I think we got it now. Yeah, all right. Here, let's see if we can get the camera to stay in focus a little bit. Yeah, watch this, beautiful. Such a neat mold. Yeah, we went ahead and used uh, the leftovers to go ahead and fill up the big eye swim bait. We've got the gobies and the uh, drop shot worms filled up. So yeah, really cool, really cool. Isn't that neat? Look at how tiny it is. I love it. All the detail he put into it. <laughs> oh no, I dropped my goby. All right, well, the good news is we can get another one out. So let's go ahead. Ah, yeah. Our little goby, goby pets. Smally killers right there. Woo. Okay, we have time for one more. So uh, we're gonna try Borealis. Cause this one's calling my name. All right. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
All right. And we're going to leave this one as is. We're not going to add any black or any other color base to it. We're just going to straight send it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here is the the, uh, the big eye swim bait in that same shift. Put those big orange hologram eyes on there. I used to use those in 8 millimeter on the uh, AI 5 inch mold. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, that eyeball is massive. And then here is the uh, Aurora Borealis or Borealis shift. Yeah. Pretty cool. And, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the videos, just like uh, Hyper Shifts, this one is one of the ones that like doesn't color the plastic. So if we hold it up to the light, you can just see it's it's just, there's really no color there. And uh, yeah, so that's always a good option for like a belly color, is to use one of the ones that doesn't actually color the plastic. And then of course, from earlier, we have, oops, our uh, laminates. Yeah. Super fun, super fun. I, uh, I have not gotten to play around with uh, silicone molds in quite some time. So yeah, this was really fun. All right, everybody. Well, um, I hope you all enjoyed watching. We had a lot of fun today. It's been, it's been a minute since I've gotten to have just some just straight fun in some silicone molds, particularly big swim bait silicone. You know, I used to pour... Let's see, oh boy, we're going way back here. I used to pour the Stanks Bape mold and still would, except for mine just eventually tore up. Um, started tearing in a few places and then Travis stopped selling them. Uh, I also used to pour the eight inch ribbed Stanks mold, massive bait. I think I still have two of those that, that are technically good enough to pour. Um, and uh, let's see, I used to pour, man, I used to pour a lot of big baits in silicone. So this was super fun, sort of a refresher course, almost bringing it back to the beginnings of my hand pouring days when I was just trying to learn how to do this stuff. And um, yeah, so thanks again, Joe, for sending me the mold. Um, you know, that mold's kind of making the rounds in the soft bait community. A lot of guys have picked it up. Really fun mold, uh, makes a really awesome looking bait and those eyeballs, holy cow. And, uh, and then thanks again to, to Michael for uh, for sending me over the, the, the Hyper Shift powder, or uh, Hollow Shift, sorry. Michael knows that I am a color shifting powder kind of guy. And, uh, you know, he and I were talking back and forth, and he's like, you know, this was a few months ago. He's like, hey, man, I'm like going to start selling, uh, you know, fancy shifting powders. And I'm like, all right, bring it on. The more the merrier. So, you know, I, I think he really took his time in sourcing these, uh, you know, as as many hyper shift powders if I, as, as I have used, and I've used a lot of them now, those are unique in the fact that they have the hologram effect added to them. So it's sort of both, you know, you, you get the shiftiness of, of the hyper shift with the hologram effect. I'm curious if I could add some of the micro hologram flakes to regular hyper shift and kind of get something similar, you know, but, but then you run the risk of eventually your flake bleeding you know, so you're never going to get the reheat, ab reheat ability out of that. But uh, anyways, at this point, I'm just rambling. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, I enjoy doing collaborations with other bait makers, particularly other uh, bait making YouTubers. And uh, I'll definitely link both of their channels down below so that you can check out what they are doing with their own stuff. Uh, you can see what Michael's doing with his powders um, that he's trying to launch. And you can see uh, what Joe, well, Joe's always doing different stuff. He does kind of a little bit of everything. Um, so you're never going to run out of fun things to see over there. But in any event, uh, I hope y'all had a great Christmas. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Plenty of more exciting things coming. We are just getting started on this channel. We will see you guys next time.